Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Panda 3D series, we created a model of a building. It has the shape of a building, but it's all grey. In this part, we'll add materials to the building object. We'll start by adding a very basic material to the whole building object, and then we'll see how to add separate materials to the particular parts of an object. In the next part, we'll make the building look even better by adding textures to it. Now, a basic material. To add a material, you should go to the Material tab, which is over here. And, as you can see, there is no material now. It's empty here. Now click the New button to add a new material and rename it Wall. So you can double click over here or you can change the material name here. So let's type Wall. And now you can see all the different settings that you can tweak. Let's click on Base Color on the slot over here to set the base color. Now select the Hex tab and enter the hex value of the color, for example, E79A19. Hit enter to confirm. Here you can see the color, but you still can't see the color on the model. This is because we are still in solid shading. To see what it looks like, we have to go to material preview shading, which is over here. So hit this button. And now you can see the color on the model. Control S to save the file. Now the wings of the building. Now we have a basic material for the whole building. But suppose you want to have a separate material for the main part of the building. Another for the two wings, so here and here. Another for the windows. And yet another for the door. So let's start with the wings. Switch to edit mode and hit 1 on your numpad to go to front view. Now deselect all and go to wireframe so that you can see better. And now select all the faces in face select mode that belong to the two wings. So here, hold down shift and here. Now orbit to make sure only these faces are selected. Yeah, go back to front view. So now we want to add a separate material to the selected parts of the building. Now in the material tab, we'll need to add another material slot for the new material. So click on the plus button, then new, and rename the material wings. Then press the Assign button, it's very important, to assign the material to the selected faces. Good. And now let's set the base color to something like, say, 684101. Enter. It's a shade of brown. And let's go to Material Preview to see this on the building. We can go to object mode, so hit tab, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, save the file again, so control S. Now, the last parts of the building that we want to handle separately are the windows and the door. Let's start with the former. So, go to edit mode, tab, face select mode, which we are in, wireframe shading, Left view, to go to the left view, you have to click Ctrl and 3 on your numpad. So Ctrl plus 3 on your numpad. Now we are in left view, which you can see over here, left of the graphic. Let's zoom in. Now let's deselect all, Alt A. And now let's select very carefully because it's easy to accidentally select other faces as well. Let's now box select the back faces of the windows 
in the main part and in the wings. So here are the windows in the main part. So we have to very carefully select just these faces. Good. Now hold down Shift and also carefully select these faces. Good. If you now orbit the scene, you will see that the windows have all been selected. Next, let's assign a new material to the windows. So with the windows selected, go back to Material tab, so here, and add a new material slot, plus, new, and let's rename this, this one maybe here, window, or maybe windows. Enter. Now let's set the base color to 344B4E. Enter. This is this sort of bluish, greenish color. I don't know. Now we have to assign the material. It's very important. So let's hit the assign button. And now we can go to material preview, shading, and deselect all. We can now see the windows. Let's save the file again. And now the door. We're still in edit mode. Let's switch to solid shading. And let's select the six faces that make up the door. So, you know that you can select them one by one. Just click on the first one, then hold down Shift and so on. But I want to show you one more technique, so let's deselect all. You can use the circle select tool. To do that, you just hit C on your keyboard and you can see a circle appear. And now you can use your mouse wheel to change the size of the circle. And now if you click on several faces, they will be all selected at once. Now to deselect, you have to click on your mouse wheel. So let's select the faces again, so left click, and now you have to dismiss the circle, so right click on the mouse. So the door has been selected. Now let's go to the material tab again. We are still in this tab, and let's a new material slot, so plus new. Let's rename this door, enter, and let's set the color the base color to something like 61551B. Enter. And very important, hit assign. And now you can go to material preview, deselect all, and you can see all the different materials added to our building model. So save the file again. Now we can switch to object mode and watch the building. Now we could use this model in the game, but why not make it look more realistic? This is what textures are for. We're gonna add textures to our model in the next part. Also, feel free to check out my awesome Blender YouTube channel, which is completely dedicated to Blender. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.